Greetings, everyone. Welcome to a very a special day, bittersweet day. Uh, 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 the bitter day, not bitter, but the sad day is that it is David! powerlifting world record holder, drug free, the one and only circular training extraordinaire expert. Mr. Jeff Zambello, originally from Boston, now residing in the Maritime Provinces of Canada. Jeff Zambello's last day here in New Jersey with us. And I am James P. Madonna, of course, the, uh, of the Facebook group, uh, uh, the International Brotherhood of Palavans, Mega Life 21 Progressive Discussions. This is my backyard. You probably recognize it from the time I used to do all those barbecue shows. And the snow, the snowstorm shows? Barbecuing, yeah, them too. Barbecuing with Mega Life 21 and when Paul Terrace Walker Winsky visited from Perth, Australia on, on his first, I think it was, yeah, his first Indian Club World Tour. Hold on for a second. Something is bothering me. And before it bothers me more, mm -hmm. let me fix that problem. Okay. This is just a simple um, explanation of something that occurs often in circular training, and that is uh, improper form um, by certain individuals that seem to ignore the basics because they let their egos take over and they do things they shouldn't do to, to knock their form off which leads to injury, which also leads to a shorter athletic lifespan, so yep. to speak. Okay. Uh, injured joints, you know, uh, tendons, uh, torn, muscles. torn muscles, so on and so forth. You, a sharp pain when, where they, when, meanwhile they should be feeling... Ruptured vertebrae? Sore, right. A hernia is they should be feeling soreness, not sharp pain. Listen to your body. Sharp pain is a warning signal. Yeah. It's very important. These are all holistic tools. Yes, ancient... Mother, the materials of Mother Nature, like Mother Nature right. made these. Okay. This, of course, for those that know, is a Shena, an ancient uh, Persian uh, push-up board, the Shena board, um, that represents a sword to a Persian warrior. It represents a sword. As they crawled on the ground, they pushed the blades of grass down flat. As they snuck up on the enemy, okay... Various push-ups are done with this. Uh, these are all made by Mr. Christian Darce of Revolution Clubs, Houston, Texas. So, I salute Mr. Christian Darce. All right, now, these, of course, are the eggplants that are exact, exact replicas of the uh, Persian meals that uh, the original Persian meals from Iran that Richard Army McGuire possesses over at his home in Ro Rodondo uh, Beach, California, Southern California. He By has, the way of Rhode Island. Right. Yes, he is from Massachusetts. Oh, he's, Massachusetts. He's a, he's a New Englander. Okay. Now, he's a Bostonian or, or, or suburb, rather. Um, he has the originals from a Zirkine from an, uh, Iran. These are uh, replicas made by Mr. Christian Dars of Revolution Clubs. Okay. Persian meals. Now these, these lovely glossy delights are made of maple. These are smaller, uh, eight pound conical shaped Persian meals. Well, it's a torque. Okay, with proper torque because of the conical shape, more weight at the bottom. Beautiful button. Yes. For safety. For safety. That's a safety button. Safety button. Now, there are a lot of people that have competition sized Persian meals. Okay. And uh, it's fine, it's great if you have them. But this video is about proper form, not about how large your clubs are. I oh. mean, how large your ego is? How lar or how large your ego is. Like, well, what's the first question out of a person's mouth when you're young and, you, and you're working out with weights? You're doing weight training. The stupidest question in the world is, how, how much, much can you bench press? Bench press. The stupidest question in the they, world. They say how much you, they ask how much you bench before they ask how much you curl. 
How much do you bench? Well, how do you how do you do the bench press? You do it with. They should be form. asking. Well, how soon are you gonna have shoulder reconstructive sh shoulder shoulder surgery? Yeah, and that and, should be the question. And and other things like it, like impid, impingement of the uh, of the shoulder tendon, Chronicle. tendonitis or bursitis or or both. Right. So uh, it's the, the secret is longevity of health and physical fitness well-being how not what you can do at age 19 21 25 30 35 40 years of age but what will you be like when you're 60 and 65 and 70 years of age will you be decrepit will you be getting uh, crawling out of, barely crawling out of bed stiff as an ironing board uh, going to uh, orthopedists and chiropractors and osteopaths or whatever, in pain, dealing with pain every day? Will you be a decrepit old man that cannot train anymore and shriveled like a prune? And meanwhile, your wife is going over with the, the carpenter who just built the new deck on the backyard. Yes, or the pool boy. Don't forget yeah, the pool yeah, boy. The, your wife the is, cabana boy. Your, your cougar wife is, uh, <laughs> is frolicking with the cabana boy or the pool boy, and you're like walking like Red yeah. Fox in Sanford and Son. You're like this, yeah. you know? I mean, that longevity is important. And there are people that have done it. The great, late Jack LaLanne, mm. Paul Terrace Wilkowinski. There are examples of fitness longevity. Rick Brown is another good example. Rick Brown, uh, Mr. Mace Man, Rick Brown. And uh, fitness longevity is what I care about. Now, how do you get, how do you uh, procure fitness longevity? Well, you, uh, you eat a uh, healthy, uh, non-GMO, non-genetically modified organic diet. You get optimum nutrition. Sleep. You get enough rest. You, you make get sure rid you... Get a cranky wife. <laughs> <laughs> you make sure your, your muscles... You make sure your, your muscles... I mean, your muscles uh, uh, have sufficient time to recuperate, which they, they require like a good 48 hours for every major muscle group. And uh, you, you don't smoke, uh, um, uh, you don't do anything to excess. Have a positive attitude. And, and you try, and peace of mind is extremely important. And I think uh, 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 being at peace with the, with the, with the Lord and yeah. everything helps yeah. a lot. Detoxification yes. is very important because we live in a very toxic world yes. nowadays. Um, and we must detoxify, uh, not just fiber, but literally, like, eat green juices, phytonutrients, green, uh, 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 if you have a good omega, a slow masticating juicer, omega, not masticating, masticating, yeah. slow masticating omega juicer, or you buy a good phytonutrient product, like well, green vibrance. Well, oily fish. Omega-3 fatty acids, uh, one of the biggest, uh, the number one deficiency is essential fats in America. Essential fatty acids. Is the brain nice and healthy? Uh, actually, believe it or not, uh, butter is actually a health food. Mm. It's high in um, um, uh, um, uh, fat soluble vitamins. Mm. And um, uh, lauric acid, I believe, yeah. I'm trying to remember if it was in ghee or butter, which is the same thing. L lauric acid uh, is, a, is a very similar. It's found in mother's milk for stimulating the immune system. Hmm. I think it's lauric acid. The steric acid in animal fat, but anyway, essential fats are very important. If you're taking vegetable oils, make sure they're cold pressed and organic uh, and high in omega-3. Now, maybe a little glass of wine just once a day? Oh, red wine, uh, trans resveratrol, and oglyomeric proanthocyanidins are found in the pigmentation of red wine. That's what, and they're a very powerful antioxidant, uh, as well as oncooxidants. Okay, I'm just going to do some maneuver with these Persian meals.
Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not, I'm not going to go to failure, and then when I'm done, I do swipes. <laughs> not wipes, like like a hot tiki towel, but you know, swipes. Let's get all fresh blood flow into your right tendons and ligaments. Right. Get active tissues. <laughs> now, now what I did, what I did with, yeah, you can go over there, so, so you're in the camera. What I oh, did was, oh these were unfinished. When I got them, they were unfinished. They were completely plain. I must have put 12 coats of Watco's uh, tongue oil on these, which includes the bottom because uh, Mr. Stefan Dogman of France said that in France they prefer to use natural oils. And I figured, well, since I love the look of wood grain, I said, let me, let me oil them up, make them shiny so they don't crack to moisturize the wood. So I wanted to saturate these. So every day I put a coat of the Watco's tongue oil every day for over a week. Let it soak in and that's why they've always been this glossy with beautiful wood grain showing. There's nothing like natural wood grain and you know Jeff Sambello every piece of wood is not the same. There is no two pieces of wood identical. The wood grain pattern is always different on every club, every club, every meal every Indian club that's made. So that's the beauty of nature. Okay, everyone is different. See, this one here has a different grain pattern, okay? As you can see, the, the be beauty of natural wood. Like Kenny Rogers used to say, with Kenny Rogers roasters, it's the wood that makes it good. That's right. I like that. Maybe, I know hey, exactly what you're referencing. Maybe, maybe Hugh Hefner, God rest his soul, used to say that. Yeah. Thing. Well, we know Kramer said that. Kenny, Kenny. Oh, that's when the Cosmo Kramer had the, the neon light uh, blazing into his apartment. few eggplants. It's not eggplant parmesan, but... See if it could be seen. <clears throat> oh, it can. Okay. All right. What I usually do, I start off with the um, the Hindu push-up. Right. With the shanna board. what I like. Just hearing the birds singing. Nobody else. But us. Us and the birds. <laughs> wow. 
Alright. Wow. I do one set of that. I'm just trying not to get my knees on the dirt. I use these mats indoors. And just take a breather. And I do two more sets of different push-ups. Commodore Jeff Zambell. Do not let the simplicity of the Shanna board fool you. Do not underestimate the Shanna board. It's an ancient tool. It's very effective. Oh, I really like that. Do not omit That's it. Great. Do not ignore it. That because, is incredible. Because it's of its simplicity. That's a beautiful, beautiful device. Yeah. My goodness and, gracious. And it's very well made compared to other, other companies that make shams. Who made this? Um, the same company? Everything. Uh, uh, Houston, Texas. Christian Dars. Brother. Of Revolution Clubs. Gee whiz. Revolutionclubs.net. Mother Nature. Right out of the earth. You've got the energy. Earth and sunshine. Earth, and water. Earth, water. Earth, earth, wind, and fire. No, that was a good way. There's something about natural wood that gives off energy. Anything that was alive Is this going to has kill? It, like an aura. Huh? You say it goes in a kiln? Oh, oh. For those. So that's the fire part. <laughs> for those jabronis that are wood turners that want to make clubs, you have to kiln dry. I mean, Paul Walkowinski explained this to me. You have to kiln dry them and then put them on the lathe. Otherwise, the wood will crack on you later on. The wood will crack on you. And you don't want that after, you know, all the work of, you know, uh, uh, trying to make your clubs. Now, the best thing for a wood turner is to go on, let's say, Craigslist and get a computerized lathe. This way you just key in the numbers, sit back and have a nice frosty cold craft beer and watch your clubs appear before your eyes in minutes. Computerized lathe will bang them out quick and with perfection because you can't beat technology and machines. All right, now the second set with the Shenna, because today happens to be my Shenna day. It's like the uh, Rolling Stones song, Sh -sh -sh -shen, uh, dun -dun -dun. Oh, I was shattered, right? Oh, yeah. Sh -sh -sh -shen, uh, yeah, I've heard that in a long time. <laughs> okay, then, now I'll do the Persian push-up, which is legs as far so apart. So basically, you get your own gym here. Yeah, except I do it inside. I don't do it out here. I'm, I'm out here because you're here. I want, I want to have a nice natural background. And this is the, the, the Persian push-up. Now for those of you that mock us later on. I have a and, scratch on and, my forehead. And nitpick, go fuck <laughs> yourselves. I think they already do, James. <laughs> what? They were already mocking us? No, they're already doing themselves. Oh, fucking themselves. Yeah. Hey, hey, sh sh shan oh, boom, boom. Those are the critics. If you ever did a real shanna or used a couple of bricks, if you if you can't oh. have you don't have access to a shanna, there's nothing like it. Use a couple bricks. Army McGuire told me that. If you can't afford a shanna board, or you don't have one yet, get a couple. Get a couple clean bricks. Don't be cheap bastards. Now the, the Persian push-up, you just spread your your feet wide. And you just do regular push-up. And then lower behind you. Then you yeah, go. I got a hurt shoulder so all right, no, no, don't, I'm don't mess. go pot way down. Yeah, don't mess around. But I like doing the other ones, the Indian ones. Oh, the pollen count must be a little high. It was so cool and breezy here earlier. 
And just when I decided to do a video with Commodore Jeff Zambell, it decides to get human. <laughs> Murphy's Law. That's okay. That's all right. One more. That is a beautiful device. One more. The last set I'm going to do. Do you have a couple of bricks? No, you know what? I don't want to take away from the video, but... I, 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 I really don't. Just because I really wanted to try out there. I, I, I really don't, but you know what? I think... I think it'll be wise for you to go to Home Depot or something, get a couple of bricks. Yeah, I will. For yourself. And you can call them the Commodore Jeff Zambello Brick Shithouse Push-Ups. <laughs> hmm. Or shit and bricks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I did that Dr. Dawson today. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. <laughs> yes. Um, the, the last Shenna Push-Up is the most difficult. It's called, it, I, I'm not, I don't speak Persian, but in Persia, the translation is half moon. Oh! Push -up. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with the half moon, uh, Mr. S uh, Steve Maxwell does an excellent job. Steve Maxwell is excellent. Maxwell Smart, no, I'm only kidding, does an excellent job of, of demonstrating yep. the Persian half moon push up. Yep. And man, he even does it without the shinner, I think, right? He does it without the shinner. It is wow. a kick-ass... No, well, it's it's better for your... It's better with the shinner. Because the longer range of motion, it's easier He's on... He's just trying to help his clients, like in hotel yeah. rooms or if they're on the road or something. It is uh, one of the most challenging exercises on God's green earth that was ever, ever invented, in my opinion. In my opinion. Another, another underestimated ignored exercise is the, the chin-ups and the pull-ups. Mm. I have a lot of respect for people that can do them. Okay. I, I, I have um, lumbar and right shoulder issues, so I have to be careful. Um, okay, and this will be the last movement, and then we'll say so long. So long. Well, now Ron, Ron, Jer Ron now Jeremy. Now, if you'll indulge me. Ron Jeremy used to say so long, right? Well, he died. Not Ron Jeremy. Uh, oh, Ron Jeremy. Uh, not Ron Jeremy. What a life that guy had. <laughs> not Ron Jeremy. It was uh, John Holmes that said so long, and then he died. I think he died of bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs? Yeah. Bacon Ron and Jeremy's eggs. going at it till this day. No, he's making Ron now. It's called Ron D. Jeremy. He oh. has a Facebook page. That's he's funny. He's got, a, he's, it's made in Costa Rica. Is it an all-female staff? Rigid. Probably is. And they, they brush his chest here? <laughs> I bet he has a bunch of... I bet he has child labor making his rum. <laughs> his rum. <laughs> He's making their rump. Okay. <laughs> you crack could be up, man. He's making the rump. I'm just it? jealous of Ron Jeremy. All right, listen. <laughs> put, put your legs together, together completely. Like an inch worm. Like an inch worm. You take your chest... You take your chest... And you you make an imaginary half circle on the left side and the right side with your chest. Wow. Rump, Jeremy. You carve an imaginary half circle as the half moon. Am I being attacked by red tail hawks? Uh-huh. They like the shinner. Sh -sh shin. Half moons, and you're doing it too. <laughs> Not bad for uh, 59 years old. Uh, Mr. 25 year old tough guys with tattoos all over your arms. <laughs> yeah, who like to eat at a nationally advertised restaurants late at night? <laughs> and there you go. Wow. Yes, I will be 60. I will be 60 years old, August. He's in half moons. Not oh. one or two, he, he did at least. Ten, if not a dozen of them. August 1st, my wow. birthday. Okay, that's it. What more do you? What more do you people want? There he is. His last day. God bless you. Be safe. And it's good when you're sad. When you're sad to see someone go, because the opposite holds true. If you're saying good riddance to somebody, that's not such a good thing. But when you're sad to see someone go, and I'm sad to, to leave. It's a good thing, but I'll be back in December good with, with, with the black ice. With the black ice. <laughs> it's yeah, snow tires. On the uh, 
Yeah, and maybe the chains are on the tires, like <laughs> like the Russian KGB in a Rocky movie, remember? Mm. Oh yeah, Ivan the Mercedes. Dro Ivan Drakov. The Mercedes Benz there. And he had the, the, the chains around the tires. Yeah. Anyway, bye bye. Adios, au revoir, a biento. Okay, any Ciao. last words of wisdom or blessing for the folks? Yeah, New Jersey's been great. Uh, people have been very nice. I love um, the Royal Hibachi, especially the owner. The buffet, right? Very, very nutritious food. Very good value. It's like ten dollars per person. You can't beat that with a stick, and you right. get as much as you want. But it's all good food. And the New Breed Fitness Center, great. New breed, yes. Great owner. Daniel Ramsey, and um, his partner um, Lily, and they're the owners, and um, they taught a life-changing class. And and what and about that seminar meeting Rick and Mr. Brown? Mace man. And that was outstanding as well. Good group of people in the class who all socialized with one, one another. Fellowship yeah. of circular training enthusiasts. And uh, it was definitely an experience. And of course, meeting Mr. Mace Man for the first time yeah. after corresponding with him by telephone and, t and typing, mo uh, mostly a lot of phone calls. Uh, I also used to speak on the phone with Richard Army McGuire. He's the first person to ever teach me anything about circular training. So I, oh, I God owe, bless Paul. I owe Walker everything Winsky. to him, yes. And Paul Wokowinski overcame, overcame his serious illness. Oh well, God willing. And he's going to be doing seminars. September 8th in Wilton, Connecticut. Right. He did one in Perth recently, I think. Hmm. And, and before you know it, and I think South Korea too. Yeah. And before so, you so know fair. it, the Indian Club World Tour will be back in action. He will probably resume the third Indian Club World Tour because he couldn't do it because he got sick. He was about to begin the third one. So anyway, bye-bye. This time I won't digress. <laughs> digress, undress, or whatever. <laughs>